Yeah, well, the good news is we don't argue about the weather here in the uh, Storm Tracker Weather Center. Here's a look at what's going on. That's never an argument at our house. <laughs> or, or in here. Uh, fairly quiet conditions right now in Bozeman. What I am keeping an eye on is the humidity. Right now sitting at 75%. The reason why that is something that I'm keeping an eye on is because we do have some snow in the air. It's just up way high in the air and it's taking some time to saturate our atmosphere. You're, we've been dealing with snow this morning in uh, Butte at least from time to time, but our temperatures are holding into the 20s. Some light snow at Burt Mooney Airport. You look across the region, these temperatures are very very mild. 35 degrees in Lewistown, 31 in Billings. We're seeing 36 in Livingston. Most of us are holding strong into the upper 20s. Good chance that we'll see some isolated snow showers. Not a huge impact for most of us, but as you get into southern parts of Gallatin, Madison, and Beaverhead counties, we are dealing with a winter weather advisory through about 10 o'clock tonight. Those areas really along the state line, uh, southern parts of Gallatin County, and then moving back into Beaverhead County. This does not include Bozeman, Ennis, or Dillon, so keep that in mind. As far as accumulations are concerned, I do expect to see uh, some accumulation through the noon hour and early afternoon uh, on into the evening. This is about 10 o'clock tonight, about a trace uh, pre of precipitation for the Bozeman area. Big sky, two to four inches. It looks like we could end up with between uh, one and two inches by the time you head into your early uh, early evening on Wednesday, Thursday, it looks like things will be clearing out. Right now, things are pretty quiet for us. So you look out to the west, we've got some cooler air that's moving this direction. It's just kind of gliding its way back toward us. And a lot of snow just down to our south, and that's going to be our big gameplay uh, for the next 24 hours or so. Just in time for the afternoon, scattered snow showers. Most of this is going to be light, but we do have some impacts on a few of the area passes as we head over the course of the next 24 hours especially uh, the Butte Hill, uh, so Homestake Pass is some place to keep an eye on. Uh, it looks like temperatures should be into the 30s with cooler temperatures for the day compared to yesterday. Uh, there will be some flakes for Santa as you head into the overnight, but it's going to be isolated uh, throughout the day, heavier as you head into the evening and then clearing out by early tomorrow. I do expect to see some light snow showers for the Bozeman area tomorrow. Temperatures down into the low 30s as we head into the rest of the week does also look like we're going to stay fairly clear, which means overnight temperatures may be a little on the cold side overnight tonight as well. That's good. No, that's good for reindeer and Santa yeah, and all I that. Think, you know, he needs all great. that kind of stuff. So.